Clothing store? Clothing store! Mm. Paintball field, I can't think of an immediate use for. Clothing store I'd be pretty happy to get to. Actually, I would just be happy getting upstairs and exploring the rooms in this building. <laughs> oh, it can get lots worth, Retro. <laughs> I made it worse. I made it with 50% more zombies and half the item spawns. Then I also stacked up Chemical Imbalance with uh, Insomniac, Mood Swings, and Schizophrenic. <laughs> it can always get worse. Uh, yeah, it would really be a shame to lose this guy with the uh, auto dock right here in this basement. I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm. I'm. I'm pondering pretty hard about the old sit still for a while. If I had fire or light already, I would definitely hang out down here for a bit. I, I think, in order to get my brain to work better, uh, I need. I need cookies. All right. Cookie jug has been deployed. No way. Go away, puppy dog. No cookies for you. <laughs> All right. How are we going to do this? We're in perfect shape for the start currently. We've made it into a safish space. We did have a few little zombies following us. I didn't really catch if anything else saw me and it was coming this direction. Uh, I think I am going to pass just a little bit of time. I, oh, <laughs> yeah. That's funny. So, I'm going to hear things. <laughs> uh, that's because of some of my chemical conditions. There's not really somebody breaking glass down here. It's all in your mind. All right, looks like we're not going to get any better here. Still trashed, still got the influenza, depression, all that good stuff, but we're rocking our hard hat. Let's peek upstairs real quick. If it's just a couple of little zombies, I'll take them. Oh man, this is terrible positioning for this room. Terrible positioning right here facing the window. Can they see me? They have not seen me. Let's try to get from the east. All right. Somewhere over here. Minefield? Chicken walker? Tank drone? Who knows? Uh, This looks like an empty house. Is this an empty house? This is an empty house. God dang it. That is not good. That is not even a little bit good. We may not be staying here. I left my lighter downstairs. The warehouse window is broken. wonder if I can get into the warehouse unobstructed. I've never gotten anything useful out of a warehouse, so the, the boxes have always been empty. Not that I can actually get into them right now. Let's find out. Oh, there's a zombie. All oh! Oh! <sighs> You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> now, I was paying attention. He was not in sight. I stepped from here to here. He stepped and spat, put it right underneath me. <laughs> oh, man, that's picking on me there. I can't make logical decisions when I don't have all the information I need. <laughs> and I needed to know there was a spitter zombie one step out of my zone of uh, sight there. Alright. Ow, ow. Burning feet. Ow, ow. we got to go back in the building. Yeah, we're not going to be able to take advantage of this thing. Now we've got noise. We're going to have stuff coming at us from every direction. We're going to have to bail. We'll make a note. If we manage to stay alive, we'll come back to it. I'm a little unhappy about what I had to leave down there, but uh, oh well. I couldn't use it immediately anyway. I don't want to do anything like burn this building down. So, next target is, I guess, diagonal north to that other house. And then we've got an apartment, and then a house, and then a subway. <laughs> And then, uh, I'm not sure. we got a bit of a, a jaunt across the road here. Mill surplus. And then the house, grocery store section I was kind of hoping to aim towards. We'll see. I, I do have a, another advantage that's unintentional. When I do the reveal map thingy, I can see where the uh, stairs 
are going to be. So these two houses have basements. I can see the basement houses, basically, because they blink uh, because of the reveal. Actually, the spitter is going to be the first one through there. And an acid zombie. All right, we got cars. We've got backpack. Backpack. Is that another Outfitters? Oh, it is another Outfitters or Outdoorsman's. That's the kind of thing I was looking for. Oh, man, a backpack would be so useful. Plus, there's braziers in here. If I can grab the backpack and get a brazier and then scoot and a fork. I need a fork. <laughs> All right, so the acid zombie shouldn't be a problem. I'll go over the fence. He'll have a take some time to break through it. That crowd worries me. The she or the smoke zombie worries me. So we're gonna try to come down, hop the fence, get in, and grab the backpack, whatever else is useful. Come back out this way, grab a brazier, go back over the fence, and then try to get to that house up there. You can see one of the braziers right here. Do, do, do. Hey there, Razor. So, that's the plan, but as you know, it's going to be step over the fence, Shocker Brute comes through the door. Alright, let's keep trying it. I am still walking, trying to preserve my stamina. Alright, so there's another Brazier. I don't have anything in my hands. Let's go ahead and take it down now so I don't have to come back for it. We'll just wield it. Oh, boots. Oh, look at all that good stuff. That's the kind of stuff I was praying for. Now I just need to be able to get it and get it on and get out of here before that crowd sees me. Wear backpack. Wear western boots. They're coming for me. A cloak. Oh, all right. Well, that's not as good as I was hoping. We're going to take it anyway. What else we got here? Chunks. Salt. Fruit. Flip-flops. Candy. I'd love to grab things like one of these pipes just to make my. Uh, if I get a few seconds to make my crowbar. How long does it take to make a crowbar? You know, you're playing on hard difficulty settings when you have to know or have to look up exactly how many seconds it takes to make a crowbar. One minute. So, ten game rounds. So, I'd have to get to a safe spot and have ten game rounds without getting interrupted in order to get the crowbar made. And have a, a hammering item, which is usually I get that with the, uh, not the scrap metal. Yeah, the chunk of steel. So if I get the pipe and a chunk of steel, <laughs> I can make a, a crowbar if I can get 60 seconds without zombies gnawing on me. Let's see. So, towards that end. I'm going to be retreating back out the way I came. Hopefully that acid zombie hasn't come through the fence yet. I got some guys added on. Well, do I back out or do I go out that way? Has that crowd seen me yet? That crowd hasn't seen me yet. It's just these local ones. Hmm. Um. <laughs> I had my crowbar made. What does this cloak do? It's been forever since I wore a cloak. Head, torso, arms, and legs. 30 warmth. That's all actually pretty good for only four encumbrance. A heavy cloak thrown over your body. Well, that's actually pretty awesome. And when we step outside, we'll see what the temperatures are. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good, actually. Alright, so, I don't need immediately any of these other items. I would like, like I said, a chunk of steel, a pipe, and maybe a little bit of scrap metal. That way if I can get into a basement anywhere, I can, or into a room uh, with a door, a couple doors between me and them, I can real quick whip up my crowbar and my lockpicks and not have to worry about going through doors and windows as much. Let's... I'm going to move down. I'm going to let this guy... Nah, I can't give him any more time. What is this? Protein powder? Yeah, we could use that. Our protein drink. Acid zombie still hanging out. He has now spotted me and has moved over. More guys are lining up on the back fence. 
think part of that crowd is now coming. Uh, I can go down and out the back around, but then I still got that crowd up to the north, and I don't want to go back to the east because I got the spitter somewhere over there. I think what I might do is go through the door, wait here, hop the fence, let them kind of accumulate, and then come back around and through the door again. I don't think this is a solid... No, maybe this is a solid wall. Maybe I can't do that. Now that... Yeah, I'm not sure how that's set up. All right, let's let's go look real quick. So we'll come back out here. All right, there are doors. Now I run the risk of getting trapped, though. This guy comes up, or anybody else comes up behind me. So they're working their way through. I'm okay. What I want, what I'm trying to do, is get a gap where these guys come through, but I'm out of sight of the big crowd. And then I can run back through this way, grab a couple items I need, and then go north into that house I was talking about. So I'm just trying to let enough of these guys filter towards me that I can do that little end run. And I want to stay in sight so they come directly towards me. Looks like I'm not going to get a gap. It's just a conga line. <laughs> uh, they're not going to be nice enough to give me a gap. Now the Shrieker's going to be getting some attention. Come on, guys. Nope, it's just continuous. And the spitter has shown up. The good news is the spitter won't spit through the fence. Uh... Of course, as soon as somebody breaks the fence, he's coming through. Alright, I can't can't afford to stay out there. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Regardless of the situation. Run mode. It's a little too crowded in here. Don't grab me successfully. Well, we definitely did not get what I wanted. <laughs> that did not improve my situation in the slightest. Uh, I've got smokers to the east. i got smokers to the south. i got a crowd right in front of me. I'm probably going to get blinded, which is not going to help. Stamina is okay. We did get... Oh, we got a bite. <laughs> of course we did. I can't cauterize. Ah, well, maybe I'm not going to that house. Maybe I'm going to this house. If I could do west into that house, I might be able to beat the smoker over there. Then hop the fence into the house to the north and work my way north through this series. And then over to the apartment. I think that's going to be a better play. So we're going to keep running. I'm really not happy that I picked up that bite. That is really bad news. I did not need that stacked on top of all the other negatives. Alright, it's definitely don't go through there. And another basement. A wool poncho. Way too warm. Way too warm. I'd like to look in the bathroom before I... Oh, tramadol. We'll take some tramadol. Close the window up. At least it's not a spider and zombies. <laughs> Do I got anything in my hands? I'm holding a brazier. And it's a pot basement. With sewer rat, or sewer snakes. Stop running. All right, well, we got a brief respite, assuming nothing else is down here with me. Nope. <laughs> assuming wrong. Um, I wish I wasn't running right now. Thought I had uh, got the place empty, so I was running around. Took another shot I didn't want to take. Alright, time to take a tram at all. Get that pain taken care of a bit. Yeah, that bite is really unfortunate. That is really going to be a problem. 
So I don't have a knife. I don't have the ability to make fire at the moment. Alright, well, let's get our stamina back and keep moving. We gotta... Time is our enemy, as always, for RBDs. Uh, can't go back out the other way. We gotta go out this window. And then around this way. How many zombies? Got a brute coming up behind me and this guy in front of me, huh? Run mode. Oh my god, first aid kit. <laughs> now I just need to get to any kind of a not necessarily safe, but quiet spot. Alright, we're in the dark. They're still going to follow me to here. Activate. First aid kit. Grab. I want the bandages, the disinfectant, the aspirin immediately. Activate the uh, disinfectant. Alright, we got the bite taken care of. <laughs> oh, Providence. Now I just need to find some antibiotics in the same easy fashion. That sure would be nice. We've got uh, light and medium painkillers. We've got disinfectant for bites, which is going to help quite a bit. Uh, we got bandages for uh, bleeding and healing up. Our health is still okay. We got a brazier to contain fire if we do find another safe-ish basement. We got a backpack. So, so far, a few tags, but otherwise going really, really well. We'll grab this stuff since I've got space. Uh, I wish I could go back out that door into the kitchen, but I'm scared to. This room's not going to have anything anyway, so I don't think it's worth my the danger to go check that out. So north of me is a house. I can see the um, washing machine there. Stay in the shadow as much as possible. Oh, lighter! We've got fire! Lucky lighter. Alright, I really need to smash this locker, right? Dang now. Come here, you. Give me a stick. Wield? Where'd the stick go? Wield the stick. Alright, so... Are they going to leave me alone long enough is the question. Let's grab the pipe, grab the steel, the scrap metal, leave the boots. Hoodie, take the hoodie. Ah, crap. <laughs> Dang it. Shock zombie too. 41, exactly the direction I was about to head. Um, I might still have the time to get this thing made before he gets that door open. We're going to try it. Alright, we got it made, we got it made. Alright, we got the crowbar made. Ten rounds, successful. Let's try to make a couple of lockpicks. These are, whoa, never mind. Way too long. 11 minutes, 14 minutes, yeah. No lockpicks for us. Uh, but we've got the crowbar, so that'll help get us through doors. I really would like a lockpick, but two, three minutes, I can't afford to take that much time when I've got this stuff after me. I might have to go out the garage door here, which is going to be ugly because it makes a lot of noise. What is waiting for me? All fairly clear. Only a couple of small ones. All right, let's try to creep our way north here. Fire extinguisher. What am I looking at there? Oh, a scarf. Ooh, scarf would be good. Ah, it's from the direction the shocker was, though. There's an acid. Right, I want the scarf. Mechanical mastery. Alright, do without that. They're hiding... oh, yeah, dead zombie stuff. He killed himself coming through the window, the broken glass. Would be nice if I didn't get too many things chasing me here. Skeleton, Shrieker, and the Tough. Shrieker is a bit of a pain. We're gonna have to just race through here. I've got how much space left? i got five volumes still. Alright, still going pretty strong. 
Uh, give me the string as I go by these things. Tuna fish. Oh, union suit! Wear the union suit. What, what shoes am I wearing? I forget. I got the boots. Western boots. Uh, I can't remember what the stats are on Western boots. I don't think I've worn them purposely. 6'6". Six, six. 24 encumbrance. Youch. 24 encumbrance. 6, 6, and 20. So double the protection, but massive encumbrance. I'd rather have uh, the low, low encumbrance, thanks. Goodbye, boots. Wear the fitted sneakers with only encumbrance 2. Much better. Alright, so we're in the main hall. Let's go this way. Do I have pants yet? I think I'm still missing pants. Come on, game. Legs. I've got the union suit and the cloak. I don't have pants yet. So we're going to wear the pants. They are fitted. One more liter of space. Can we make it across the hallway? Uh, food, food vent or food mixer. Sauerkraut. Uh, I don't think I can afford to take detergent. We've got a frying pan, though. Pickled vegetables. Cool. And a food processor. What what exactly does a food processor do? <laughs> I'm, I've always been confused about this item. What do you what do you do with it? Sure, I say it says capable of slicing, chopping, shredding, grinding, pureeing, and mixing, but it has no, like, functions. <laughs> hmm... <laughs> All right, Captain Obvious. <laughs> From what I can see, it just holds batteries. Some food production tasks quicker? All right. I'm not going to carry it, but... If it has some function, fine. All right, where are we? Bank. We've got a bank wall and a gun store. That's not good. Ideally, I'd like to get back out of the hallway and get over to one of these other... I picked up a few. Why are you guys coming right at me like this? You shouldn't know that I'm here. I don't want the, the heavy stick. I want the long string. Oh, that'll put me over as well. All right, time to start dumping stuff. Um, hmm. Hmm. Heavy stick can go away. We've got the crowbar now. Got the brazier. I really just need to find the spot where I'm going to try to set stuff up. Oh, incandescent husk. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Hey there, incandescent husk. I did like a massive series right before this one. Didn't see a single one of you guys. And here you are in the first couple of hours of this one. Yeah, good times. Huh. Well, we got to stay way away from that thing. He doesn't see me yet. Hey there, Equinuke. Thanks much for the Prime subscription. Really appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. And how the hi there, Bob the Bacon. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Drinking Tiger Searching Dragon. Alright, that is unfortunately the direction I wanted to go. I'm gonna need to go back south. To areas I've already gotten attention from. We already hit those. I think I did that one as well, but I forget. Um, hmm, 
this is not good. We're right up against the wall in this room, so I can't... Well, actually, I could go out this way. I could go out that window and then down the hallway, but I hate being in a narrow corridor. Well, that doesn't get me the direction I want to go. I do not want to get forced off into the wrong direction again. I don't want to step out onto the intersection of big streets and get spotted by 50 zombies. I need... Let's see. My goal is to get over to this area. I want to get into one of these houses and get settled in. Probably one of these two or one of these two, since I know they have basements. Um, but we've got some uh, swamps here, just in case I need water, salt water, or uh, some uh, cattails and stuff for crafting. Uh, and then grocery store and some housing that I can raid. So my goal at the moment is I have one, well, two goals. i got to find a basement to hide in, and I've got to find antibiotics, of course, the, the standard uh, RBD situation. I can't just pass time till night because we'll be dead in the morning if I don't get the antibiotics. So I can't afford to just sit still. Uh, doctor's office north of us. Three doctor's offices north of us, but trying to maneuver and move in this city right now with my gear. Super, super hard. Optimally, I need to be out on the big streets looking for ambulances. But with my stats the way they are, that's a pretty tough call to make. I think I am going to head back out here. Alright, uh, I see no ambulances, no ambulances. Oh, there it is. Right there. The perfect condition excavator. There's our vehicle. I can go anywhere I want with that. <laughs> uh, yep, sitting out in front of a construction site. So far, I'm like six for six for these being perfect condition with lots of gas in them. Now the question would be if I could get to that, and it's just diagonal across the street, I would probably drive it like so, try to lose contact somewhere out here, abandon it, and then try to, once again, get into one of these buildings. All I need to do is get into the buildings with nothing like shock, acid, husk, <laughs> that kind of crap. If it's just standard zombies, I'll stand and fight to try to clear and then go downstairs into the basement to get kind of set up in a little, uh, little basement nest. But, uh, I gotta survive to get that far. I think I will go diagonally north. We'll see what things look like when we get near this intersection in the front where that vehicle is and then make a decision whether to work our way back up and over or to grab the vehicle and try to make a run for it. So, let's go out this way. Oh, hello Shady Zombie. Gasoline lantern. I need me a gasoline lantern. That will mean I can get away with a lot of uh, underground light without setting a fire. Hmm. I need that three liter as well. I think I'm going to leave mechanical mastery behind. Yeah, let's leave mechanical mastery behind. It'll be a while before I can use or take advantage of something like that. Uh, all right, so let's go out. I think that's the one that came in through the north window. Nope. All right. Oh, what did I see? Security bot? Security bot. Triple shocker zombie. <laughs> oh, man, this thing's going to be so messed up. Triple shock zombies on one side. We've got a husk on the other. Where is this security bot? There's a security van. Security van with no wheels. Yep, no wheels, but it's going to have a gun right there in that thing. And there's the security bot that's loose, killing things. He's busy running around. Spl oh, pliers. Pliers on the dead shrieker. So, of course, the security bot is right where I was about to go. So there's the perfect condition excavator. So we're now, what, seven for seven? <laughs> I assume that... Anytime you see an excavator in front of a construction site, it's perfect condition. How much gas it has, I don't know. I've seen it vary from like 10 liters to 50 liters, but uh, yeah. 
So where's that bot gonna go? He's he's really inconveniently placed. I'm gonna assume he's moving a certain direction. Yep, he's moving right in my direction. And I am running and wasting stamina, and I've got a poison guy following me. <clears throat> uh, I can't... I'm not likely to get to the bank window before that bot starts shooting me. There's no other zombies between me and it. This is this is really damn annoying. Um well, I've got a whole bunch of the zombies now seeing me. The trick is, how do I get them on the bot before the bot shoots me dead? I could hide in the vehicle, I could... I'm also trying to avoid getting poisoned. Hmm... Well, yeah, except the shock zombies, eh, they may not be able to get through those vehicles fast enough to get to me. I'm thinking of backing into the building I just came out of through the front door, if I can get around that uh, gas zombie. The bot, the sentry bot will keep coming south, and I think the train of other zombies will get its attention. And as soon as it fires a shot, they'll all go beeline right to him. That's my hope. So... Let's actually go towards those guys. Yeah, he's he's racing south. There you go, zombies. Make lots of noise. Whoop, shock zombies out. Excuse me? How the hell is there a fire there? <laughs> is that a was that a survivor house? No, there's no garage that I can see. Isn't that the abandoned house that I was in? Huh. I'm not sure how or why that's on fire. No, no diagonal worm screen for this one. I would like the shock zombie to come north another step and get hung up on the back edge of the vehicle before this guy poisons me. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to manage it, though. Alright, i got to run for a second. I just want to time it so that he starts shooting and they get closer and they swarm him so I'm thinking I'm now going this way I'm hugging the wall but that's probably gonna pull him across Ugh, the geometry just doesn't quite work I'm gonna have to go back into the building I don't think I have a choice come on bot start shooting things two shock zombies out there for you alright tough zombie there I think I might go back up this way. I don't want to go anywhere near that incandescent. I'm waiting to hear the gunfire. Oh. Alright, so shock zombies right there moving north, I think. There we go. Oh. Bang, thump, bang, smash. There was noise here. I'm hoping that's that thing starting to shoot and he'll start drawing stuff. There he goes. Alright, now we're good. So that worked per perfectly. Almost like I planned it that way. Alright, let's peek. What can we see right there? Not quite anything. <laughs> Alright, step out. Alright, he's still murderizing people. Or zombies. He's going to run out of bullets here pretty soon, though. That is a lot of bullets flying. Alright, I think he's out of bullets now. So now I just have to keep him between me and these zombies. Yep, we're good. Alright. That's not a bad example of uh, tactical movement and, and understanding how the different creatures and stuff are going to function. 
So I managed to do exactly what I was hoping to do, get uh, the sentry bot in contact with all the zombies. Now he's going to act as a buffer. Nothing down here is going to be able to kill that guy. The shocks will eventually wear through him, but unless an acid shows up or something a lot bigger, that guy's going to keep these guys tied up for quite a long time. So that's good. <laughs> oh yeah, it does say trapped in a burning building. <laughs> In my defense, the very first one we did, I teleported out of the burning building into the middle of a city building just to relocate because we didn't like the starting position. So <laughs> my memory is going by that occurrence. <laughs> That's my excuse. All right. Uh, filthy wristwatch. Yeah, let's wear a filthy wristwatch. What the heck? Alright, nothing in the bank I care about. The bots have been making noise. Oh, we got an ambulance! We got an ambulance! And maybe a second one. Oh, it's possible we got two ambulances here. Plus, we might have a Kevlar vet. Oh, no, there's, that's a security van. That's just going to have gems. Do I care about the gun? That's the next question. Shotgun? Empty Glock. I'm not going to carry an empty Glock around. Uh, Humvee to the north. That's not another ambulance. That is a wrecked police car, I think. So, ambulance, yes, but I think that's a wrecked police car. And a wrecked RV. Alright, so... Which, what, what order do I want to do this in? I know I have a working vehicle right here. It's just a matter how much gas it's going to have. What's my preferred method of killing giant naked mole rats when you're in a lab? Uh, mini nuke? Rivtech battle rifle? <laughs> I assume you mean early game when you don't have lots of cool stuff. Lure them into a bio operator? Generally, try to find an, uh, an environmental thing you can do to them. The problem is the collapsing they do of the roofs and the walls and stuff. They're a pretty big pain in the butt. If I'm super early, I just try to get off the floor. I try not to deal with them. Do what you can to get out of the reality bubble to minimize how much damage they do. Until you do have a way of dealing with them. <laughs> They're really tough. They'll kill a mid-game character if you're not careful. They'll collapse the roof on you, pin you under rubble, and then nibble on you. Alright, I want to check the ambulance, but I want to go over to this other spot first. Because I can toss gear into the trunk of that uh, excavator. Armored wheel. Armored wheel. Alright, it's got wheels. Oh, it's got a perp... No battery! Perfect engine, perfect alternator. No battery. So close. Love my Humvees. Looks like the tanks are probably pop hold as well. Yeah, no gas, no battery. So that won't drive. Bunch of zombies up that way too. Uh, firefighter zombie, and what else is over there? Uh, the brick kiln. Yeah, brick kiln. Hmm. I think the order of events is going to be grab the pliers, get the excavator, dump some stuff in the trunk. Drive this way, do a quick park, jump into the ambulance, look for uh, antibiotics and any other medical gear, and then drive down the road. Because if this thing's got a decent amount of gas, what we can pray for is body sites <laughs> just sitting out here. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. So, that's the plan. Let's, let's do it. Don't care about any of that. Anything coming at me fast enough I need to worry? I don't think so. Alright, give me the pliers. Oops. Nothing else I care about. Zombies are coming. Let's burn some stamina. But I can't afford. Drop. Drop. Actually, check it first. 9.6 liters. Not as much as I hoped, but uh, we can work with it. Uh, plenty of battery to get it started and it's perfect condition otherwise and there's never security on these things so it's an awesome little zippy early game vehicle highly recommend them always check out excavation sites 
our construction sites, I mean. Alright, so dump. Let's get rid of all of this crap. Hopefully I get it all in there before these guys get to me. Get rid of the really heavy stuff. Alright. Uh, I'd love to beat that firefighter to death, but I'm worried about getting delayed and more things showing up. No, I can't afford it. Alright, close the door, close the door. Start her up. Get me out of here. Now, of course, a zombie shows up in the exact wrong spot. Let go of the controls. Hey, late night. Welcome to the channel. Hey, we got our first uh, cash card. Come on, antibiotics. Three baskets. This is a good opportunity. We might have it. All right. All. Ah, no antibiotics. Bandage. Bandage disinfectant. <laughs> I won't say no, but uh, it's sad making. All right, we got nothing immediately on us. They're banging on the backside there. Let's check our vehicle again. So we've got how much space? We've only got 37 space back there in the hatch. Uh, that's plenty for our current needs. Let's go ahead and dump some stuff again. Let's get rid of the wrist wristwatch, just not to take any chance. I uh, shouldn't need the pliers with me. Shouldn't need the that with me. This is the kind of this response here is what drives me insane. So. I mentioned it when I very first started the stream, and let me re-mention it. I will be cheating in one case. I've had big problems with RBD starts where I find antibiotics super early in the run, like even the first house I walk into, five minutes in. Take antibiotics, stuff like five of them in my face over the course of a day. Three days later, I'm still infected, and I get this kind of situation, like what's happening here, where you can't sleep, you can't craft, you can't even stand still and pass time, because it's just nonstop interruptions over and over and over and over and over again. So you just pray for the sweet release of death, and you end up suiciding the character because the mechanics are broken at that stage. So I've decided that if that happens, if I find antibiotics, take the antibiotics, and 48 hours later, if I'm still infected, I'm going to cure it via the debug or summon up some royal jelly or whatever. We're going to get rid of the infection, because I'm not going to put up with that cycle of ignore, interrupt, continue, where I have to hit it a billion times to actually progress the game. So, just a warning for everybody. <laughs> that will be happening if that occurs, but otherwise we're playing straight up. So if I don't find antibiotics, we're dead 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So, all right. Yeah, I know. I would love to just keep ignoring, but no. There we go. We got everything in. I just like the entire category. Yeah, you just hit the tab key. So, when you are seeing a category, if you hit tab first, oops, not from that menu, from here. If you uh, hit the, god dang it. <laughs> Do, do, do. From here, if you hit the tab key, it highlights the whole menu, whole area, and you can plus, minus, or arrow key to select the whole thing. Very quick. I've got a quick tip showing it in uh, on my YouTube channel. I forget which quick tip it is. All right, let's get moving again. Whoops. <laughs> Backed up to not hit it, and then managed to hit it anyway. So, a couple other things on my list. I need to get a hold of a uh, rubber hose so I can siphon while I'm driving. I need to get, uh, obviously, the antibiotics. Now that we're mobile, if I keep this thing in good operating condition, we've increased our chances of living by a really, really massive degree if I can drive around and find ambulances before the sun goes down. All right, so where are we? Uh, these two houses are the ones I'm currently interested in, followed by these two here. So I don't want to get the vehicle destroyed, so I need to ditch it somewhere where I'm not going to get surrounded. I think I might just, like I said, come out here and ditch it out here, depending on what the zombie population looks like, and then I work my way back into these buildings. So, to that end, I'm eyeballing that narrow area right there. 
Not sure I want to go... Lots of zombies, including a spitter. Okay, let's slow down, spin this thing around again. I just wanted to give the guys south of me some time to work their way across the road so I'd have a little cleaner path through here. And shock zombie with a smoke zombie. Cop car. Trunks of cop cars, I have some good luck finding some stuff. I'd love to check that, but that zombie that's close is going to get to me first. Can I set this up so they get... No, not, not going to be... Oh, another ambulance. Never mind. And what is that inside the ambulance? Birds? What are you guys... Uh, birds and squirrels? <laughs> uh, all right. Birds and squirrels inside the ambulance. Let's pull up next to it. And that way I can scoot in the side and check that one basket and then keep moving. That's good enough right there. Maybe I can avoid that thing. Let go of the controls so it keeps running. Get out of the way, squirrel. <sighs> Come on, game! <laughs> Antibiotics! You already gave me the other stuff. Yeah, it looks like we're going to take another mirror off. Oops, where are we going to stop moving? That's not healthy. Alright, what are we looking at? The hope is we can get out into this field and things are somewhat clear. Because until I get a um, smoke... or uh, I see a smoke zombie, so I say smoke. Until I get a rubber hose, I can't refill the gas on this thing. There's a fire truck with gear. So we're going to note that. Fire truck with stuffs. So we're out in the middle of this open area. Um... Yeah, anything on the edge of this that I care about? A pool? That's going to have lots of kitties. Dojo? That will be interesting. That might have our dragon manual that we're trying to get a hold of to complete the uh, the challenge. Lots of houses. Pavilion. We've got a pond right there. That's interesting because that does also provide infinite water. So if I were to set up in that house, for example... Let's let's scoot north up along the backs of these buildings. And we'll see if there's a spot where I feel comfortable bailing and uh, checking these houses. This thing is usually really gas efficient too. So yeah, we're at 9.3 liters still. Battery's almost fully charged. These things are so awesome, especially if you've got the ability to put a cargo space in place of that trunk so you have a little bit of carry capacity. All right, so we made it to here in what I think is fairly clear status. So we're going to bail out right here. Stop driving. I'm going to leave my gear. So we've got some carry capacity. Got the medical items and the crowbar and the lighter. That's all I'm going to carry with me. Uh, what's coming up behind me still? They're a ways back. They might follow me all the way up here. I'm not sure. But that's what a swamp tile looks like all by itself. <laughs> so we got some bushes we can search. Not many. Four or five. We've got uh, water. Should be, hopefully, a fresh water somewhere in one of those ponds. And just a few cattails that we could pick. And then the same thing over here. Alright, I'd like to get into this other house first. No windows on the south or the north or the north or the west side, huh? That's kind of irritating. Is this the grocery store I'm looking at? Oh, this is the grocery store I'm looking at. So, yeah... It'd be nice, but we're not going to go in there. Stay away from the front windows if I can. Bottle. Close up the windows. We're really hoping to find just a few things. Cough syrup. I'm going to need. Let's take some of that now because I am coughing heavily currently. Alright, that'll help with that. Mono. No, I think we can go without that. Empty garage. Oh, not empty. Pliers. Oh, dang it. I already have pliers. Almost got excited there. Sure, let's have some calcium. Nothing in hiding in the tub. Another locker, but I've already got the thing I needed by smashing that. Boomer 
is across the road. He's going to be not able to see me, if, even if I step into the light, I believe, because of the rain. It's going to cut down. He's at 38 currently. Smartphone I would like. What else? Bandana. What a mouth. Now, I grab blanket and pillow while I'm here. I don't have enough carrying capacity between me and the trunk, I don't think. Alright, let's back out of here. I think we're done in this house. Yep, I think we're done here. Let's go out this window. Uh, here. I love being in sneak through house mode. <laughs> Calcium and chewing gum. Nothing in the bathtub. Uh, that's an unfortunate arrangement for the front living room. Possible we're going to get a lot of attention here. Yep, we're definitely getting attention now. Computer science. Oh, hello. Alright. Grab fast. we got to run. Alright, next up. These two houses have basements. I can see that one right there. Is that a go bag? Or is that a golf bag? We have a go bag. We have achieved peak go bagness. Holy mackerel! Have you ever seen a go bag? If you've never seen a go bag, here's a go bag. <laughs> go bags are ridiculous. Hey there, go bag. Disassembling this item takes about two minutes and might yield, it does yield, a duffel bag, backpack, army helmet, army jacket, army pants, t-shirts, compression top, Kevlar vest, chest rig, raincoat, rain hood, long underwear bottom, towel, combat boots, sneakers, seven pairs of socks, tack gloves, rubber boots, or rubber gloves, fire gauntlets, battery, flashlight, lighter, pocket knife, roll mat, sleeping bag, and earplugs. <laughs> Wow! Early game go bag goodness! A huge duffel bag with backpack attached, both packed to the gills. Judging by the feel, a National Guard soldier could have packed this to be ready for deployment, activate or disassemble to unpack and enjoy. Uh, did it make us overweight? It's not making us overweight, but I can't fight with it. Oh, we got a spitter zombie in here with us! <laughs> of course, the cataclysm giveth and taketh away. <laughs> I knew there had to be a trick to it. <laughs> Find go bag, deal with spitter. <laughs> in the room that I wanted to go through. And I've got zombies coming in from the other side. Oh, that's great. YOLO my way into the basement. Uh, no, I could kill this spitter pretty easily if I wasn't holding the go bag. So currently I'm holding the go bag. I've attracted some attention, but I'm really tempted to just kill this spitter. My my hope is that he misses with the spit. This room's big enough, he might miss. And then I can pound him down before he gets another spit off. So the, the spitter doesn't scare me over much. It's more the other stuff dogpiling in. And I'm going to have to drop the go bag, kill the spitter, grab the go bag, and get moving again. So all that part doesn't make me excited. Um, how much damage does a go bag do? <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty heavy. You'd think it would do a pretty good amount. What does it do? It does five bash and five cut. <laughs> That's what it does. Pretty unwieldy, though. So it's really going to come down to where does this uh, spitter land his little spit job. If he puts me dead center, I'm in big trouble. I can't go at that window. I'm going to have to go north towards the window slash basement. And depending on where this guy lands the, the spit, I may uh, dump the go bag and then go thump him. And then try to get back into the basement. So, let's find out. We're going to go into run mode. Oh, can he see me yet? I'm Yeah, I'm in the bright. He can see me. Come on, Spitter. Do it. Do it. You're, why is there... Is there a body site? There's a body site here, too? Soldier body site with a go bag sitting here? Hmm. So there's going to be other little body sites. I've got 50% drop rate, so there may be only one or two more. But there's going to be several more scattered around in the house here. 
I, I'm getting a little nervous about this spitter not using a special ability, though. <laughs> He's waiting until I get in range. He's acting really weird. He's not really coming towards me. I don't know if going downstairs is a good idea. It's going to be a spider basement. I just know it's going to be a spider basement. Or it's going to be a survivor basement with like two survivors and two smoke zombies covering each other. I would love to check the rest of these uh, soldier sites. Huh. I think I'm going to move to the window. We'll see if we can get to the window before he drops the spit. No, uh, no window on this side of the building, huh? Yeah. Oh, yuck. This is about to get bad, I think. Spitter's right here in the narrow alley with me. Uh, made it around the corner. Can I get into this next window? Oh, 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 you gotta be kidding me! Oh, come on, Cataclysm. <laughs> Spitter behind me. I break a window to step inside, and I'm in the windowsill clambering in, and there's a spitter two spaces in front of me as well. And now my stamina is almost gone. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. If I die here because of this, I'm going to be so mad <laughs> getting this kind of a start. Getting so lucky with some of the gear. I don't have the antibiotics yet, which I had hoped to by this point. Oh man, this is not funny. <laughs> Well, step into the cabinet, which is going to take time. The guy behind me, I don't think, has spit yet. There's a gallon jug I would love. There's a basement in here somewhere. Or do I go back out the window, down to the door, and in that way? And or to the far window. I think i got to go that way. Oh, we're so much going to get tagged here as my uh, speed and such. Good job. Good job, Spitter. Excellent work. Oh, right there. That's perfect. Oh, ah, I screwed that up. Oh, this is perfect. Get in there. I can deal with the spitters in this arrangement. Activate. Oh, I don't have the go bag taken apart yet. All right, we're going to have to do this the hard way. Drop first the go bag. Map. Note. <laughs> go bag in basement. And we'll sort that out here in a second. I just want to make sure that's noted in case I get squirrely. All right, um, yeah. Let's have our uh, dark soda, have some gum. Raise our int and our perception with our caffeinated gum. Make sure the basement is empty this time. Safe mode on, walk mode on. Nope, not safe. All right, we should be able to take a tough. Come here, tough zombie. Oh, another gas lantern. <laughs> well, okay then. Game. I swear I have it on 50% drop rate. Man, I hope I didn't drop the bro break the drop or I had to rebuild the world in the settings a few times. Let me make sure I have the drop rate set right. Yeah, item spawn scaling factor 0.5. All right, any other tough zombies hanging out down here? Hey, we got safety glasses. More useful than last time. All right, we have an empty basement. Obviously, we're going to take the go bag apart. Let's do that first. Uh, yeah, wield it. Activate. Go bag. There's the pile of stuff. We have stuffs. So, yeah. We're going to have to think about this. Zombie drops aren't affected by item spawn rate. Well, all right. It's just the world-generated stuff. Sort category. 
So what we have, what we've got sitting nearby. Worn items, uh, keep the backpack, keep the cloak, probably can dump the hoodie now. What else has he got over there? Rain hoods, sleeping bags, extra backpack. Kevlar vest for sure. Everything's going to be poor fitted that was in the go bag. So that part's not too cool. Um, yeah, let me think about this. I'm going to take a quick break. We're a couple of hours in. For once, I'm actually going to take my couple hour break at the couple hour point. Welcome everybody that just joined. I'll be back here in just a few minutes. Won't be gone long at all. Just need to refresh my drink and uh, stretch the legs a very short bit. And uh, we'll get back into it. There's Bruce Binger the second. This is our second attempt so far at this particular challenge. In the chat screen, you can use challenge, settings, and mod list with an exclamation point anytime you want to get updated information on what I'm doing and or ask people. Uh, but I'll be back here in just a few minutes and we'll continue this crazy spot. I just found a go bag. We're hiding in a basement and we've got two acid zombies and a feral lurking right upstairs. What shall we do? And you'll find out here in a few minutes. Be right back. <laughs> 